Can-Am was big, bad, brutal. The cars were magnificent, lightweight, overpowered, oversteering, really, really quick, and uh, everybody loved them. My name's Alistair Corbell, and I joined the McLaren team in 1967. So we just worked tirelessly for month after month, uh, 20 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, everybody in the factory uh, to build these new cars. And the cars always ran well. That was a good thing about McLaren's, they were reliable. Well, that was our number one ethos, was to have the best looking cars and the most reliable cars. And we, we achieved this. My name's Keith Holland. I'm Global Heritage Operations Manager for McLaren Automotive. The Can-Am series of the late 60s, early 70s is an incredibly important part of McLaren's heritage. From 1966 through to 1971, McLaren won five consecutive Can-Am championships, a record 43 race wins, and it established McLaren as a successful manufacturer and a winning team. McLaren 650S Can-Am is designed to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the start of the championship in 1966. We are producing the car in three unique liveries inspired by our Can-Am race cars. Mars Red, Onyx Black and Papaya Spark. McLaren enjoyed so much success through the Can-Am championship because it was an innovator. Today the materials have changed but the philosophy and ethos have not. In addition to the carbon monocell, which features in all of our cars, this car also features a carbon fibre bonnet, a carbon fibre air brake, and for the first time, a fully retractable carbon fibre roof. There are also a number of design inspirations from the 1966 M1B, including front fender vents, black alloy wheels, and a new exhaust. Inside, you'll find more carbon fibre and the Alcantara and Napa leather seats are coordinated to match each of the three individual exterior colours. The McLaren 650S K&M is a limited edition car and only 50 will be made. It's a fitting tribute to our K&M heritage. <laughs>